How you doing guys? So we got a patient over here. He's been experiencing what's a past nine years, low back pain and neck pain, right? But what's more recently in July, he started to experience a lot of front chest pain over here, especially right at the Zyphoid process, right at the tip of this breastbone over here. He went to the ER, they did a full CT scan, also known as a CAT scan, and they found those, they diagnosed as costochondritis, right? So that means it's a condition of the cartilages from the ribs, that's between the ribs and the breastbone, these cartilages are inflamed, right? So since it keeps you up at night, have a hard time breathing, exactly. all that fun stuff, mm -hmm. okay? Let's go ahead, let's connect the dots, see what's going on. So we start off with instrumentation. And we find a reading right at that level. Here's an abnormal temperature. And we find another one at this level. Everything is chronic. Right there. Okay, so since he's skinny, right, the edema is very, it's more challenging to locate, and it's more difficult to find. But, we can still see it right here. There's still pooling in this region over here. So let's go ahead and let's test the structures. Okay, pelvis is moving fine. This pelvis also moving fine. Let's go ahead and test everything else. How's that right there? It's like a pain. Pain. Pain, right? There you go. See, this is not moving too well over here. This is like a brick wall. Four. Yeah. That's also stuck. Yeah. Stuck. Start to loosen up here. Yeah. Okay, that's number two. Oh, one, there you go. 12, yep. Yeah. This thing's really stuck. Not too bad. So even though there's a reading here, okay, this looks like there's more compensation because this is somewhat fixated, but not truly, right? Going up the spine, becomes stiff again. And right there, stuck. How's that fellow right here? Wow. Pain, right? Stiff. See, this one here, that's not moving too well. That's stuck. Okay. That was. Wow. Yes, yeah, it's somewhat stuck wow. and fixated yeah. on the right side, but it's not too bad. So we got the fifth cervical over here. It's also somewhat fixated. But we got the more key readings. This is fifth lumbar over here, and it looks like the sixth dorsal over here. Right, so I found there are three structural problems, mm -hmm. but there's one major one that started the whole entire domino effect. Okay. That's what this fifth lumbar bone is. Oh, the, this okay. one over here. Okay, the bottom one. The very bottom one. I tested your pelvic. Pelvic foundation, that's stable and level. That's not mm -hmm. where the problem is. Mm -hmm. But the very first structure right above it, as you see your whole entire spine, it's curving this way. And oh, curving yeah. another time, right? Right, I see that. It started from here. So this is a problem you've been feeling for the past nine years or so. Right? Now because it was not properly addressed, you see how there's two curves right, over here. Right. right smack in the middle of it is that sixth dorsal. That's right in the middle of your shoulder blades over here. Mm -hmm. And it goes right over here. Mm -hmm. right? oh, so okay. that's why you're feeling a lot of pain and tension right along here. Because the ribs, they only end actually over here. Mm -hmm. The breastbone's over here. Mm -hmm. There are cartilages mm -hmm. that connect from the rib to the breastbone itself. Mm -hmm. So, however, because of the significant misalignments you have here, where your spine's being twisted and rotated, that's what's causing the ribs to start to squeeze. squeeze inwards. In essence, what happened is, because this side's being pushed this way, this side's being pushed that way, okay, in essence, it's pinching the cartilage. So that's what you're feeling over here, but it's not too bad, but Xiphoid cartilage, I'm sorry, the xiphoid process is a little bit different because you have more ribs on the bottom that's merging in towards one connecting spot over here. Right. Right? 
So it puts all that pressure. While now, I'm not saying all the cartilage is like directly connected to the xiphoid process itself. Right. It's not. It's just right above it. However, because all that tension, all that force is being squeezed right, right there, I'm surprised why that xiphoid process region, right over here, right. you're feeling all right. that tension okay, and being irritated. Mm -hmm. That's what's keeping you up at night. So the real solution is, yeah, we have to address this first. Mm -hmm. After this is corrected, it's gonna start unwinding all the twisting out of the spine, okay. leaving the pressure over here. We're gonna retest this. Most likely this needs to be corrected as well, right? And then when we go straight up or it's again, we have another curvature right over here. That's that, what's that neck pain you've been feeling? Right, that right, fits right. cervical over here. I've been twisting like this, yes. I understand that. Right now today, we don't find any instrumentation reading over here. Right. So it looks like your body kind of adapted to this and got used to it. Mm -hmm. After we correct these two, I would not be surprised. You may feel more of this irritation. We may need to fix this in a future visit. But right now today, these two are our primaries. We're going to okay. work on. Like this, I don't feel that the pain. Oh, the back to low back. Good. Don't feel much. Good. How's the chest? Oh, I feel better too, but the lump's still there. I said about the lump. But right. how's everything else? How's breathing? Breathing better. Good. Yeah. What about the pressure you feel on the chest? Oh, that is the key. It's Minimize a lot. By how much? About 60%. 60% better? Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. Round two. Okay, six dorsal. We're putting the spine in neutral position. Relax shoulders, please. Just relax the shoulders. There we go. Six dorsal PL spiders. Wow. Wow, what? Much different. What's yeah. different about it? I can move a lot. Whoa, better now. So you mentioned it was 60% improvement. Right. So what is it now? Very much better. Like 75? 75. So there is about 25% left? Yeah, about 25%. Good. But it's, you know, it's pretty good. That's a good start. Yeah, pretty good. I'm satisfied with this so far. Good. Pretty good. Before this, I can't even, you know, if I move it uh -huh. like this, I feel pain. Okay? Now I feel more freely. It's good. More freely. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> well, we're all set, Jim. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one then. Okay, uh, so far, uh, my lower back, okay, it's almost pain free. Good. Okay, the chest, I feel like uh, much, much, much better, okay, compared to the, the, you know, the first I was here, like, you know, almost 90% gone. Okay. okay. Uh, breathing problem, almost back to normal now. Almost back to normal. Good. So I don't have anything that, you know, uh, burning uh, sensation on my chest, those is gone. All right. Okay. So far, I feel good.